options. Surgery was the only way of trying to get back what I had because I had lost everything. His first question is, will I play again? It's a heavy duty one. But I felt sure that that was certainly going to be true. I think the thing that was great about uh, his recovery was that he began to realize somewhere in the middle of this that it was going to work. I saw Mr. Dichter for his uh, Dupagen's contracture of his small finger. But generally speaking, most patients who have Dupagen's disease have it either in their, their ring finger or their small finger. And so that's where most of our efforts are centered. And I'll just illustrate on my hand what a typical patient would, would be like, and that would be a contracture of both the MP and the IP joints. It's called Dupagen's disease. It is a condition in which the normal fibrous architecture of the hand begins to contract. And certain fingers are affected more than others. It begins in a sort of a nodular phase, and then it proliferates. And then the nodules sort of join hands, if you will, and the fingers slowly and insidiously uh, contract down. And sometimes people don't notice it until they're really impaired in a normal daily task, maybe you know, buttoning a button or putting their hand into a pocket, at which point they feel their hand and feel this sort of thickened cord. Anyone can have Dupuytren's disease, but generally speaking, men have Dupuytren's more than women. Generally, third and fourth decades it's, is the earliest you'd see it, more common, sort of fifth and sixth decades of life. And then there's geographic variation. We see both genetic and geographic variation of the disease. Uh, Northern European uh, people, Scandinavians, Ireland, and interestingly, Australia. Uh, rarely in Asian, less commonly in African Americans, uh, but a distinct genetic predominance. The risk of loss of a digital nerve or a vessel can be catastrophic to anyone, but peculiar to an elite athlete or a virtuoso pianist is their particular demands. If you use your hands, and, and your hands have been part of of your creative life, to see them less than 100%, you'll know the pain as soon as you start to experience it, and uh, you have to deal with it soon, and you can get it back. So if there's any suspicion that uh, your hands are not functioning as you would want, uh, there really is no reason uh, not to seek out the best possible hand surgeon in your area, and uh, seek out two, seek out three, get their opinions and then find the one that, that, uh, that you think you feel comfortable with and then totally entrust yourself to that person. And if I stop playing tomorrow, I've, I've had an extra year and a half of joy.